present. I move to accept the minutes, sir. Leaves for your approval, Mr. Chairman. Presentation. <clears throat> Sir, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? The uh, first item I have is a uh, proposal for um, an upgrade to the Crawford Creek wastewater treatment plant. Um, this is our only treatment plant that we still don't have a generator at, so we want to add a generator to this plant. And also we're going through all of our wastewater plants and, uh, and converting our potable water or drinking water. Um, we use uh, that water for our belt presses, our, um, our screenings um, for, uh, for the headworks. And uh, instead of using drinking water for that, we're changing it over to reuse water to take the effluent from the plant and use that as our process water. And it's about a seven or eight year payback, so it will save us some money, but it also would just have a problem using drinking water. It's just a better use of our, our resources. And so that's what the proposal's for, is to change those two items. And uh, it's a uh, contract as it will be for the design is with uh, Turnip Seed Engineers, a 9.78% engineering fee. Um, the constru estimated construction mm -hmm. cost is just over 300,000. So I'll put Turnip Seed at about $29,633 for the engineering services for this project. Yeah. Yes, sir. 9.78% does seem high, but it's a small fee. It takes a lot of money to kind of get these started. It falls right in line with the American Society of Civil Engineers recommendations for fees for this type of project. So it's not an unreasonable request for, for a fee. All of these. I look at the curve um, that they publish, and uh, you know, the smaller the project, uh, the less cost of the project, the percentage is typically higher. So you'll go up from about 11 or 12 percent is their top, and it uh, curves down to just right around 6 percent at the bottom when you get into the multi-million dollar projects. Yes, sir. Go to consent, sir. All right. Next item is a uh, change order for a Woodbridge pump station. This is a project that is significantly behind schedule. It's been going on for a long time. Um, it was supposed to be completed before I started here. And uh, we have been working with the contractor, uh, trying to get him to complete the job, and he's just not performing. So we made him an offer to change order this current contract to, uh, to get him off site. So there's some damages in there. We didn't want to go through the process of liquidated damages because we'd have to go against this bonding company. We felt the cleanest way to do it is to do a change order that'll leave the money left in the contract for us to finish the project plus some damages on his part um, because he didn't didn't complete and change orders an amount of a, a deduction of $289,300 and 59 cent and staff recommends approval to change order. Yes, sir. Timeline. Um, no, it makes the new completion date for the contractor of, of okay. September 26th. So, um, he signed the change orders just uh, based on the approval of the commission um, to agree to the change order. But uh, we'll have to sit down and, and work out a timeline for completing it because I was waiting for uh, the commission to approve before I sat down with our staff to, to look through the completion. Obviously, we can yeah. work on it. Yes, sir, it is. Move consent. So moved. Uh, the last item I have is a uh, proposal from uh, Infrastructure Systems Management. We have two projects that we're doing uh, utility relocates of our water and sewer system to uh, um, accommodate uh, widenings of the DOT widenings of the road. And um, the two projects are uh, 
Party McManus Road and Horizon South, and the services will be provided for both projects a lump sum of $52,500. Staff recommends approval of this proposal. Ben, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. How are y'all doing today? The first item we have for your consideration is an independent contract agreement with Keck and Wood for engineering um, for a traffic engineering report or study um, at Washington Road, just north of William View Parkway. Uh, staffs identified some safety concerns there uh, in the northwest direction uh, during PM peak. Traffic backs up in the single lane up over the hill, and vice versa. AM peak in the south. East direction traffic backs up um, close to Old Washington Road. So we're looking at doing uh, two through lanes uh, in the north northwest direction uh, to basically allow traffic to merge uh, after they get past William View Parkway before Market View. And uh, similarly, we're looking at two through lanes uh, southeast in the southeast direction. Uh, the the right lane will be a through right. Lane, um, so we'll add a, a turn lane, basically a turn lane extension, and a through lane there. Um, this is for a study uh, for Keck and Wood to do. G dot what is the G dot route? So G dot will require this traffic study be performed uh, prior to doing a design to make sure it's warranted and justified before we go into the design phase. So this is kind of the first step in making those improvements. The good thing is. If we can get GDOT to buy, uh, buy in on this project, a lot of the infrastructure is already there, so we don't expect the construction cost um, to be significant at that point. Washington. Right past the red light doesn't. Up and center. That's correct. There'll be two lanes there. No, it'll be the right lane will be a through right. Be a single. Yeah. Well, there, there's still that that pork chop island there, so you'll be able to you'll be able to take a ride to that pork chop island. So there will be a, a turn there. That's right. Traffic in traffic is over. Yep, yep. I think this is a much needed project for the intersection. Um, I don't think I mentioned the, the cost of the proposal. The, um, the, the proposal from Kagan Woods, $29,450. That would be uh, funded out of the 1726 cost. Staff recommends approval. I think it's first of the year, early 2023, either in the winter, uh, early spring. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I would hope not, um, but it is GDOT, so we have to kind of go with their, with, with GDOT and how fast they travel, um, how fast they work. Uh, a lot of this will have to go through Atlanta, traffic related. So best guess, um, if we could have approval from GDOT on the study, we can have design completed by the end of next year, um, and hopefully go to construction early 2024. Move to sec uh, consent. The next item we have is a purchase of a Peterbilt dump truck from Peterbilt of Atlanta. Uh, this was originally approved in the 2021-2022 budget. However, due to availability, uh, we could not um, purchase one then. Um, since then, uh, one has become available. However, uh, due, to, due to inflation, the price has increased. Substantially, the original budget was for 90000 uh, the uh, new proposal uh, proposed uh, cost of this dump truck is $133,346.33. Uh, this purchase will be under a source field contract. Um, still eight to 10 months out if we were to place the order today. Um, it will be purchased out of the Stormwater Heavy Equipment Fund. It is needed. We have one dump truck in stormwater operations now amongst five crews, so they have to kind of plan ahead of time. 
chair this dump truck, uh, this would certainly help with stormwater operations. Staff recommends approval. Uh, yeah, that's a big old overrun. But I move to consent. <laughs> the next item we have is an independent contractor agreement with Blue Water Engineering for Walton's Pass drainage system improvements. Uh, if you recall, in June of this year, uh, the Board of Commissioners approved the purchasing of 1067 Walton's Pass due to severe uh, and recurring flooding issues on that property. Um, Staff looked into this originally when we purchased that property and realized the system was under designed. Um, so, this contract with Blue Water Engineering is to design uh, not only the demolition of the existing residence that is there, but upgrading the storm drainage system for concept development and final design, uh, working with county staff. Uh, Blue Water estimates. Uh, Completing this within 45 days, the notice to proceed. Uh, the proposal is for $19,975. Staff recommends approval. Uh -oh. House is still there. We, we don't believe it we, we don't believe it will um, and as quick as Blue Water's proposal is to turn this around a month and a half uh, and we would bid the, con the construction out immediately thereafter so we're looking you know early next year to go to construction demolish the house and go to construction of improving the system I remember several me messages about this property it's been an ongoing problem so good to consent sir The next item is uh, phase one municipal separate storm sewer system or MS4 uh, permit notice of intent. Uh, so our current MS4 permit expires December 5th of this year. Uh, staff is requesting the board authorize the chairman to execute the new NOI, um, basically allowing uh, our MS4 storm drainage systems to outfall into uh, orders of the state. Uh, Upon the chairman's signature, if so approved, uh, the new permit cycle will be from will be from this year when this one the current one expires till 2027. Staff recommends approval. Move to consent, sir. The next item is for acceptance of improvements for Brighton Park Apartments. Uh, this is the acceptance of a, a small easement uh, for water utility. To include a master meter, hydrant, uh, backflow preventer, et cetera. Uh, staff recommends acceptance of the easement and associated infrastructure uh, <clears throat> contingent upon staff's approval. Good consent. The final item we have is a change order uh, number three with Reeves Construction for the Savannah Rapids Pavilion parking lot expansion project. Um, change order request is for $140,456.57. Uh, as you are aware, uh, the project was delayed due to a Georgia power easement uh, that needed to be executed with the owner of the property. Um, it's been about eight to 10 months in the making to get this easement executed. It's over the course of that time, Reeves Construction had to maintain best management practices and erosion control systems on site to ensure uh, County state in compliance. Um, in addition, over that eight to ten month period, there's been extreme or severe uh, cost inflations, uh, materials, subcontractors, uh, all their prices have increased. We've met with Reefs three times. Uh, their first uh, change order request was you know, over doubled this current change order. Uh, we've met with them three times each time, continuing to call out. Uh, items that we didn't think were needed or were excessive uh, and we are in agreement with this final draft uh, change order in the amount of again for uh, $140,000 $140,456.57 
Yes, sir. Yeah, let me add to that, Mr. Chairman. And and I don't want to I don't want to cast dispersion on our neighboring counties. That I will talk about how efficient our county is when we're operating and doing business. This was a very what we consider to be a very simple easement. The property is actually owned by Richmond County. We're on a long term lease with that. We approached Georgia Power approach. We approached Richmond County about this easement. Uh, like uh, Titus said, eight months ago, an easement that probably would have taken Columbia County maybe a month if we, depending on how the committees hit, to be able to put it together, probably less than that. Um, I've been involved in this personally with the interim administrator down there. We've gotten political involvement in it. Um, their staff has sent it back to legal several times. Our legal has been involved in it. Georgia Power has been looking at other options to be able to do something about that. Um, and I will just say that that uh, you should never have that type of situation out of out of any of our employees or any of our departments taking that long to do something like that. And subsequently, it's costing the taxpayers of Columbia County one hundred and forty thousand um, dollars. And we just we don't operate like that. So. Um, now, I, I can't speak for Richmond County as to why. I'm sure they have their reasons as to why they needed to be so particular on this easement. Maybe that's how they are on all of their easements. Uh, so, again, I'm not, I'm not saying that they've done anything wrong. I'm just saying this is a, a direct result of, of it taking way longer than I think it should have, and I would not allow that to happen in Columbia County, nor would any of your directors or any of your staff. So I'm just bringing that to the attention of the committee. Um, it, it is what it is. Uh, Again, there, there's, there's no hard feelings, but at the end of the day, we have to be cognizant and, and responsible for the taxpayer money in Columbia County, and this one, I believe, was unnecessary. No hard feelings, but they thousand dollars this uh, just that our neighboring we will absolutely do it. Do the best we can. Abs absolutely, we will absolutely do that. Sir. Move to consent, sir. Fiber. Staff report. Yes, sir. I have the uh, year-to-date budget reports and the water and sewer construction project reports for your review and prepared to answer any questions you may have. They're working on yes sir um they're all for different reasons like the jones creek they're doing all that construction on uh Fures ferry so we wanted to wait till that moved out of the way so there weren't any conflicts there um sugar creek we're just kind of holding on that a little bit until the hospital um, gets to moving because this will help support and bolster that area. Um, we have one rejected bid that we're trying to figure out how to save cost. Come back and uh, go at that one. So they're just all different reasons. I'm looking at 685, our sawdust water line. Is that because of our zigzag uh, boundary lines? Yeah, that we're, particular area? Yeah, that one, um, we're kind of slowing it down a little bit because we're, you know, we, we have the... Uh, the radar that's going on the uh, tank down there and sawdust um, for the area and uh, trying to wait on some funds. So we're slowing it down just to make sure we have funds um, to pay for that one. Um, it's not going to be necessary until after we finish the sewer anyway. So we're just slowing it down just a little bit. Thank you, sir. No, sir. Public comment. Then we can move to uh, send them to the full board. Nine twenty six. 